Hey everybody, this Prima Games video shows you how to rob people, stores, and armored cars in Grand Theft Auto V. Whether you're low on cash or just looking for a thrill ride, committing robberies in Grand Theft Auto V has your fix. Today, we're going to cover the planning and strategy behind each robbery as well as the payout that you can expect. Robbing people is the simplest way to make a few bucks. When we say a few bucks, we mean it. Robbing a random stranger will normally only reward you with enough cash to buy the special at your local burger shot. Robbing people who have just withdrawn cash from an ATM is somewhat more rewarding, but still usually falls shy of the $100 mark. The best strategy when robbing a person is to use a blitz attack with your fists. Using a weapon makes noise. Noise draws attention to you, and the cops aren't usually far behind. By going the silent route, you are much more likely to get away without a wanted level. And let's be honest. For the minimal payout you'll be getting mugging someone, a wanted level isn't really worth it. Robbing a store is your middle of the pack Let's payoff. You can expect now. to get anywhere from $200 to $800. Okay, okay. Stores that can be robbed are typically variety stores and liquor stores. There are several throw Los Santos. If you're looking for some, consult your map and look for a car wash. They often have stores attached to them. There's also a store you can rob just one street over from Trevor's original safe house. Robbing a store is somewhat more complicated, as you'd expect given the payout is larger than robbing a person. First of all, if you plan to rob the same store multiple times, be sure to go in with your gun already drawn and trained on the store clerk. They will recognize you from past robberies and open fire. Some clerks are more than willing to give up the cash, while others need a bit of convincing and a small few will simply refuse. As you enter the store, Aim your weapon at the clerk. If they start to empty the register, just wait for them to give you the cash and then get out of there. If they initially refuse to give up the money, fire a warning shot over their shoulder. If they still won't give up the money, walk behind the register and hit them with the butt of your gun. You'll have to collect the money from the register yourself. Robbing the store is the easy part. The getaway is more complicated as you're going to receive a guaranteed two-star wanted level. Back into your parking spot so that you can speed away quickly. Know the area and find yourself a secluded alley to duck down. Even if the cops are on the streets all around you, the wanted level in Grand Theft Auto V works on line of sight, not distance. If you can get away from the crime scene without being spotted, hide out until the heat is off. Lastly, robbing the armored car is the most complicated and risky of all the robberies, but definitely rewards you accordingly. You can expect to make in the neighborhood of $5,000 to $8,000 for every armored car robbery you pull off. The problem here is, they are hard to spot. Feel free to pause the video briefly and note the point of interest on our map. This is where the armored cars spawn. Hanging out here is sure to produce one eventually. Note, if you hang around and none are showing up, go do a strangers and freaks mission or random event. Oftentimes, simply waiting won't produce an armored vehicle. You can rob the armored vehicles while they are making a pickup or drop off, but this method isn't our favorite. Instead, we like to hit them while they're in traffic. You can either shoot the back doors open or use sticky bombs. Our advice is to use sticky bombs 100% of the time. Toss them between the handles on the back door and wait. If the explosives don't land just right, you'll destroy the truck rather than blast open the doors. Do not detonate until the armored car is clear of other vehicles. If you do, you'll trigger a chain reaction and destroy the truck, scattering the money all over the ground. If done correctly, the doors will open and a case will fall out. Exit your vehicle, Grab the case and make your getaway. You can kill the two guards if you want, but be careful. Additional acts of violence can increase your wanted level, and that's never a good thing. There you have it, a complete guide to becoming an expert at pulling off daring robberies in Grand Theft Auto V. For more information, please visit www.primagames.com. If you're on Twitter, follow at Prima Games. And if you're hanging out on Facebook, which we know you are, like us at www.facebook.com slash Prima Games. Let us know in the comments below. What are your tips for pulling off daring robberies in Grand Theft Auto V?